Hello everyone. In this follow-up video, I want to show you how I'm implementing Hume AI into my live avatar project uh, that I have been building in public on LinkedIn. Uh, so Hume AI, what they do is they provide AI models that can assess human emotions, be it via images, video, audio, or text. Uh, they make these available uh, through a, a public APIs, okay? And in particular, I'm interested in showing the integration for this expression measurement API. So what happens is you can uh, you can pass the API a stream of video or an image, uh, like I said, or text, and what it does is it evaluates it and it spits out a long list of uh, emotions. They're basically probabilities, uh, but the most probable emotion that this image uh, uh, indicates. So I'm going to, uh, you know, use this particular image right here and just kind of show you really quickly how I'm, you know, methodically putting some pieces together to create a, a live chat bot that kind of, you know, utilize vision, uh, also serve as a, a rag for this for retrieval augmented generation uh, for your personal documentation or, uh, or this domain uh, documents. Uh, and I'm also integrating uh, this feature from uh, Hume AI that allows uh, the model to detect emotion. So I, I, I just like, you know, the whole comprehensive nature of this, this project. So let's go ahead and let me show you what it looks like here. First of all, I know that's getting a, I'm getting a lot of buttons down here. It's starting to look like Simon says, uh, it's an like old school game or whatever. But, uh, so let me kind of get right into the demo here. So we put that uh, the image URL here. So before I need to do anything, I have to uh, basically take a quick shot, a quick snapshot of uh, with my webcam in order to, so in order to generate an image that I'm going to send to Hume AI and basically use that as a context for the question I want to ask. Uh, now I want to eventually get have all this uh, combined more smoothly but again this is piece by piece and this is like building in public. This is what it looks like. So let me go ahead and kind of kick things off here. So I'll start here, connect. Okay, actually, before I do that, let me show you um, what I need to do is take a, that photo, actually, that I mentioned. Uh, so it's right here. Okay, so I took the photo, and so this payload, this is from Hume AI. So, again, it has metrics for predictions for all of the emotions that my image based on a language model could be or not a language model but uh, it's just an AI model uh, so you know we have amusement anger anxiety awe, awkwardness boredom calmness so all these are ranked okay and let me just get right in a little bit into the code a little bit um, I know you saw that. Um, I'll take care of it. So, I actually am using uh, some prompt engineering, as they call. So, to uh, ask GPT whenever they get their response back, just to give me the top three metrics, okay? Um, let me see if I can get it up. Okay, so it's right here, line 852. All right, prompt, question, get response, emo. Uh, so this is the prompt that I'm feeding it. Uh, and you know, it combines uh, some instructions that I need GPT to perform on that emotion object, which is that whole uh, list of predictions. 
I'm basically saying give me the top three emotions with the highest value and return a response in one sentence. And with that, you know, I'm also just saying your role is to respond to any questions or comments while considering elements, well, uh, while considering that emotional context. That's basically what I'm, I'm trying to do here. But the main thing is I'm also leveraging, you know, GPT as a language model that's able to condense all that data down and just quickly evaluate it and give me the top three, uh, top three predictions. So let me just kind of show you. That was a little bit of background, and also, you know, let me just go ahead and do this while I have while I, I'm on the subject. So, yeah, even on the back back end, I'm printing this out, you know, so that uh, you know, just more verbosity. So I can I'm connecting to a web socket on this one, and I'm dumping all of those uh, predictions to the uh, terminal there. Okay, so let me get back to the uh, main event. Okay. So we have uh, you know, all of these predictions over here on the side. But let me go ahead and run it again. And this time we're going to, let me also just say, uh, let's, let me prep this. My current state. Okay. All right. So let's uh, test this out. I gave it that. I need to go ahead and um, you can choose one more voice. Jenny is fine. Let's try that again. Okay, we got that. Hi, Elliot. Are you planning on doing more lab work today? I'm sure the answer is yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, based on the analysis, your top three emotions are calmness, concentration, and boredom. How can I assist you further in this state of mind? Okay, so now I'm just going to like have like a really surprised look on my face so we can see that there's going to be a difference. Okay, so let me go ahead and run that again. Hi, Elliot. Are you planning on doing more lab work today? I'm sure the answer is yes. Based on the data provided, your top three emotions with the highest values are confusion, anxiety, and distress. Okay. How can I assist you in navigating through these emotions? Let me just try to smile this time, okay? Uh, and then we're going to wrap this up. So let me give it a nice smile. Okay, let's try this one more time. Hi, Elliot. Are you planning on doing more lab work today? I'm sure the answer is yes. Based on the data provided, your top three emotions are joy, love, and admiration. How can I assist you further in this positive emotional state? All right, so that's what I wanted to show you here. Uh, in a future video, I'm going to combine all of these you know, different prompts and whatnot just so... I can have basically like two modes. I want to have a mode where I switch to a rag, and that's just going to be business as usual. You know, where it's just uh, pointing to a data source and fetching facts from a data source and answering those kind of hardcore facts. And then I want to have a mode where it's where the uh, AI bot uh, can have context based off of vision. Uh, also, emotional uh, context as well so that's coming up uh, I also want to add a uh, just speech to text uh, capabilities as well just and that's kind of wrap all this front end stuff up and so uh, that's what I want to show you in the meantime so if you have any questions please let me know 
I'm uh, very interested in hearing, you know, your thoughts. And, uh, you know, uh, I will be releasing a YouTube of uh, this same. So I hope you do follow me there. Like and subscribe and share. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Please enjoy the rest of your day.